This problem is costing your business tens of thousands of dollars every month. And the culprit? Lead acid batteries. Believe it or not, this is a pretty common problem for rental fleets and scissor lift owners alike. Lead acid batteries have been widely used in the industry for their cost effectiveness and availability. However, there's underlying issues beyond what meets the eye. Take a closer look with us on today's episode of Big Battery Academy. Hey everyone, Scott here, and welcome to Big Battery Academy. If you've ever wanted to learn what goes into powering your applications, see awesome builds from other creators, or get started on a project of your own, this is the place for you. But let's rewind for a sec and understand a deeper problem. The chemistry of lead acid leads to endless maintenance, replacement costs, and horrible performance. While it's true that lead acid has a cheaper upfront cost than lithium, over the course of its lifetime, it costs way more and degrades way quicker. For example, this fully charged scissor lift that we got from our local rental shop came with standard lead acid batteries. And look what happens. This equipment can hardly move three feet before it stops. And that's purely due to the condition of the batteries inside the machine. Even the telematics data shows that it should be functioning at 100% capacity. Work just can't get done at this rate. But that's not all. These lead acid batteries are bloated and have actually left corrosive material on the battery bay. These are repetitive issues with lead acid and lead to numerous service calls and equipment failures every day. Let's dive deeper into what daily lead acid maintenance looks like. If you're a rental company with your own scissor lift fleet, the primary issue you have with lead acid batteries is that they require regular maintenance, such as a watering program, checking and topping up electrolyte levels, ensuring proper ventilation, and clearing battery terminals. Neglecting this regular maintenance causes lead acid sulfation over time. So if you don't use it, you lose it. Within just three months of non-use, your batteries go through a sulfation process. This process hardens the electrolyte like a brick from the bottom up. This extremely shortens your runtime, in part due to a process called surface charging, where less of your battery can be used to accept a charge, and in turn, less of your battery can be used during operation. The maintenance costs of these battery problems can easily add up to over $10,000 a month. For example, routine maintenance for a rental fleet of 300 scissor lifts requires around $39 per machine every two weeks, with monthly costs totaling over $23,000. Imagine if you had a fleet of eight or 10,000 scissor lifts. A fleet that size would need well over half a million dollars every month just for lead acid maintenance. Not only that, but a standard lead acid battery has a very limited charge discharge cycle before its performance starts to degrade, which means more frequent battery replacements. Lead acid batteries last around two to two and a half years. To put this into perspective, a small fleet usually spends $500,000 in battery replacements over the course of 10 years. A fleet of 8,000 needs to spend close to 14 million over the course of 10 years. Lastly, they take a long time to charge. Lead acid batteries typically take around eight to 10 hours to reach a full charge. Plus, if you're used to discharging to around 50% depth of discharge, you may run into issues with memory charging where your batteries repeat a charging pattern, now only offering you a maximum depth of discharge of 50%. You're creating a wall that prevents you from ever charging back to 100%. This means more downtime for your scissor lifts and your workers during charging, and ultimately directly affects productivity on the job site. There is good news though. Lithium offers a robust and cost-effective alternative. Let's take a look at Big Battery's solution to these problems. We talked with warehouses, equipment fleets, and manufacturers. We made sure that our lithium scissor lift kit requires zero routine maintenance. You just plug it in, set it, and forget it. That means no more routine service calls, watering programs, terminal cleaning, or losses in productivity. In some cases, when fleet managers switched to lithium, they were able to utilize an additional 30% of their fleet for rentals or operations, instead of being reserved or placed in maintenance stations. Plus, big battery lithium lasts for at least a decade, which is covered by our 10-year warranty. For most fleets, lithium will save you more money than the cost of the batteries in just the first year. With just two of our 24-volt Eagles, you can replace all four GC2 form factor batteries in a scissor lift and power that scissor lift two to three times longer. Plus, big battery lithium is uniquely rated for 100% depth of discharge, so you get the entirety of an Eagle's rated capacity. We also make our kits simple to install using Anderson cables and a durable bus bar for your connections. 
Plus, the best part is, we've developed our kit with a uniquely designed steel ballast. We've engineered a universal counterweight system that works with nearly every major scissor lift on the market today. Plus, we design, engineer, and manufacture right here in the US. We're so confident that our batteries will serve you to their maximum potential that we back them all with a full 10-year warranty. And with comprehensive safety features like our advanced BMS, your batteries are always protected against short circuits, over or under voltage inputs, thermal runaway, and more. Installing the 24 volt Eagle conversion kit is a breeze. First, we'll secure our bus bar to an optimal attachment point for our main positive and negative in our scissor lift. Next, we'll connect all our cabling to our bus bar, making sure to connect all the positives to the positives and negatives to the negatives. Make sure to tighten the bolts with a wrench or other appropriate tool. Then, we install the weight plates to the bottom of the battery. Then we'll set our ballast boxes in place. Together, these components create our counterweight system, specifically designed to account for the reduced weight from upgrading to lithium. Finally, we set in our batteries, connect our cabling, and just like that, we're ready for a day at work. To take a closer look at the 24 volt Eagle, or to get started on your own switch to lithium, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of Big Battery Academy. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch future videos, and visit us over at bigbattery.com to learn more about our energy solutions.